Hello everyone, I wanted to uh, follow up on the video that I created last week where I showed the initial implementation and functionality in TextMesh Pro that will allow you to interact with text objects at runtime in the game view and more specifically how you'll be able to interact with not just the object as a whole but track and interact with individual characters, individual words or individual lines of text and I also mentioned how you would eventually be able to interact with links. Well, over the weekend, I added support for links in TextMesh Pro. And basically in this video, I want to go over this implementation. So what I've got here is a block of text. And I'm going to first describe uh, the format of this new uh, link tag. And the link tag is pretty straightforward. You're going to use, you know, the... the uh, smaller than sign link equal you'll give it in quote an ID or a name uh, this ID or name is going to be converted into a hash code that will be stored with the link info which I'll cover in a few seconds and the reason why it's converted to a hash code is to avoid doing string lookups which basically would generate garbage uh, or generate allocations and eventually garbage collection so anyway, so as far as your usage, there's going to be functions that allow you to look up all that stuff. But anyway, so you'll have link equals some name or ID, then followed by the text that will be visible for the link, and then you'll close it out with the slash link. So if we look at this text object, um, I guess the next logical question is, well, where is this link information going to be stored? Well, last week in the video, I talked about how um, every text object created by TextMesh Pro, there is a class called text info. So TextMesh Pro dot text info. This class contains information about the text object. More specifically, it has a bunch of substructures that contain information about every character, every word, every line, uh, etc. Now, what I did is I added to this uh, text info class a new structure which is link info. So what I'm using here is this uh, little text info debug tool which I described last week. It's av available in the text mesh pro user forum and I made it there uh, available so you could use it as a reference as to how to access this uh, text info data. But I'm also using it uh, as a way to help me visualize the information contained in the text object. So if I uh, click on here, it shows me every single character uh, in the text object. If I select words, it shows me uh, each of the words and where they're located. Now I covered last week how if a word is uh, split up on two separate lines, how it would generate two separate uh, boxes or hit boxes for that single word. Well, what I added here, which I described is this link info, which allows us to see the, or visualize the links contained within the text object. Now, uh, these are not encompassed in it because that's just text that I put in for you guys to see what the format of this link uh, uh, tag is. So just to cover the part that I described, if I was to reduce the size of the text, you'll see eventually this is, the link is encompassed into a single uh, hit box, whereas if I increase the size of the text, then it will eventually be split on multiple lines. Now, how do you um, interact with some of this? Well, last week I showed how I created these utility functions that are part of the text utility uh, class. And in there, you have functions that allow you, for example, to find uh, an intersecting character. So you basically pass a reference to the text object, the position you're looking against, which could be the mouse position or a tap, uh, the camera that's being used, and whether or not you want to worry about visible characters. And this function will return an integer, which is the index of the character that would happen to have uh, happen to intersect with that position. Well, I talked about how I added one to find the nearest character, uh, same similar function to find uh, an intersecting word or the nearest word. Well, I added a similar function, uh, whoops, which I need to find now, uh, which is find intersecting link, and there's going to be another one which is find uh, nearest link. And this basically returns an index to whichever link you just hit. Um, so in this script here that I'm going to be showing, I have this little function, it, you know, this in, in late, actually on pointer click, which is using the event system in the new UI in Unity 4.6 or 5.0. Um, 
I'm checking basically for the find an intersection to the link based on the mouse position. And if there is an intersection, I'm just going to change the colors of the link itself. So let's take a look at that. So if I enter play mode, we can see how um, if I click on the link, it changes the color regardless of whether I click up here or down here. And this is another link here. Now this same little script, if I go back and scroll above, it's also looking for find nearest word. So let me go back to game view, nearest word. So if I click near the word tag, you can see it's changing colors. Obviously if I click on it, that's more than nearest, that's right on it. So this shows basically how this functionality works and how you're going to be able to uh, use that stuff at runtime. So in terms of the last thing uh, to wrap up, let me stop this, go back to scene view. Right now the link tag does not um, generate a style, meaning it doesn't underline and pick a color and whatever stuff. Uh, I'm still trying to flush out how I want to handle this. Right now in Text Mesh Pro, you have tags to control color, underline, italic, and whatever you want. So you can manually uh, style it any way that you want. Um, so I'm still, like I said, trying to flush out how I want to handle this. I'm thinking of creating a new tag, which would be a style tag that you would go style equal like H1 or, or something. And then it would uh, sort of be a, a macro of a bunch of other tags embedded in it. So uh, that's just like a heads up uh, on what I'm thinking. So anyway, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video and you found it useful. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions uh, or feedback, please uh, let me know. Thank you for watching.